Assalamualaikum, Namaste and welcome to Dr. Shah's clinic. My name is Dr. Shah and I primarily specialize in male infertility and sexual health. And in this short video, I'm going to answer a pressing question I get from my patients day in and day out. And that the question is, does pre-cum have sperm in it? So a large number of patients who come to my practice frequently ask the question, does pre-cum or the pre-ejaculatory fluid contain sperm in it? The other question that I commonly get from my patients is, is that, um, can I get pregnant with pre-cum or can a pregnancy result from pre-cum or pre-ejaculatory fluid? So we're going to answer both these questions in this video. Now, there was a very interesting study which, which was published in the Journal of Human Fertility in the year 2011. And in the study, what they had actually done is they had, you know, uh, looked at the pre-ejaculatory fluid or the pre-cum fluid from about uh, 27 male volunteers. So a total of 40 pre-cum samples or pre-ejaculatory fluid samples were collected from a total of about 27 male volunteers and they had looked at the samples under the microscope to ascertain and see whether there are actually motile spermatozoa. And the study findings were very interesting because only about 41% uh, of the samples actually actually showed the presence of motile spermatozoa in the pre-cum fluid. So, and the remaining 60 the remaining 60 60 odd percent of the samples did not show any sperms at all so one thing is very very clear the pre-cum definitely contains spermatozoa and motile spermatozoa and although there are some papers that say that the pre-cum contains a small number of sperms and the most of the sperms are immotile or dead and pregnancy is usually not possible with pre-cum fluid i beg to differ on this this is because there are ample studies which have you know specifically explored a specific method of contraception called the withdrawal method of contraception. Now, what's very interesting here, and this is a mind-boggling fact, uh, the thing is here, the thing that the thing is, with the withdrawal method of contraception, what men tend to do is during sexual intercourse, just before ejaculation, they tend to withdraw their penis outside the vagina, and what happens is the assumption is because ejaculation has not happened in the vagina, pregnancies and pregnancies do not should not result. But <clears throat> What happens on the other hand is that pre-ejaculatory fluid or pre-cum fluid is left in the vagina and studies have clearly shown that the withdrawal method has a contraception failure rate of a contraception failure rate that ranges anywhere from about 4% all the way to 14%. So what this actually what this technically means is if there are about 100 couples who are you know using the withdrawal method of contraception to prevent a pregnancy in two years or maybe in a year's time anywhere between Four to up to 14 percent that is anywhere from about five four or five to up to 15 patients or uh, 15 uh, persons in the in the trying couples in the couples are going to become pregnant and this pregnancy primarily happens because of the spermatozoa that are already present in the pre-cum fluid or the pre ejaculative fluid there's no other way you know to think about it so what's very important to understand here is that if you're having protector if you're having sexual intercourse always always try to wear a condom uh, because that's still one of the probably the cheapest and still one of the more probably the most safest method of contraception yes the pre-cum definitely has motile spermatozoa in it there's a very very real risk of pregnancy no matter how careful you are because the pre-ejaculatory fluid although secreted from the corpus gland what tends to happen is that sometimes an individual would have had a previous ejaculation he wouldn't have passed urine he wouldn't have cleared his uh, genitourinary tract the spermatozoa from the pre-ejaculation from the uh, from his previous ejaculation might be lining the tract, and with when it mixes with the pre-lubricating fluid in the subsequent ejaculatory session or in the sub sub subsequent session, yeah, sexual intercourse, spermatozoa can you know definitely come in and deposit into the vagina. So never have you know never uh, agree to sexual intercourse where protection is not used, and you know you don't you don't want to end up with an unplanned pregnancy uh, because it's just not worth it. So that's 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 a take home point that uh, you I hope you find and you know I hope you you know implement today. And uh, can you get pregnant with uh, pre cum? Definitely yes. The studies from the withdrawal method of contraception have clearly shown that pregnancy is possible from the pre ejaculatory uh, fluid. So I hope you found this video interesting. I'll come back with many many more videos. Do comment, like, and subscribe and share this video with all your friends and loved ones. This is Dr. Shah. Wanakam and Namaste.